Good afternoon, dear wine friends. This is your dear wine friend YouTube for September the 9th, or the week ending Friday, September the 10th. Uh, lots going on. Uh, this weekend, I'm going to be at the Women of Honor Dinner, which is an event for our Betty Ferguson Foundation. I go do it every year. I'm, this year, I'm going to be working the silent auction. So if you are going to that event, look for me at the silent auction and uh, bid on whatever it is I'm selling. 661-702-8712 if you want to go. Um, my friend Doug Gould, you can find him on Facebook, G-O-U-L-D, he's doing another one of those murals and, and wine pairing parties on Saturday too, on September 11th. And what he does is he dedicates a wall in his home to uh, an artist and she sketches an outline on the wall for his friends. And they're assigned a bucket of color or whatever and they bring their color of paint and it's kind of like a paint by numbers thing on the wall but at the same time they're painting a, a gorgeous mural they're also drinking wine and tasting wine and having a whole symposium of something that he calls it he's on it's a meetup i think you know those groups meetup meetup symposium i think that's the name of his doug gould's meetup symposium or you can find him on facebook or you can call him. He's put his number on Facebook, so I'm going to give it to you. It's 661-472-0809. I think he's a grand person, and I think the murals that he did before, one of them is on my blog. It's really cool. It's a really, I want to do it. <laughs> um, there's two things happening next week on the same night. I'm not, uh, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to be, but um, Justin's tasting, where Baldwin Justin is going to be doing the pouring, is on the same night um, as... Uh, Guy's event at Valencia Wine Company. So let me explain this. The, the Justin event is at Salt Creek Grill and that is going to benefit our Boys and Girls Club and you're going to hopefully meet Justin Baldwin there Wednesday night, September 15th, 661-254-3063 uh, for that number. And then Guy's, I'm just double checking that that's September 15th. Yeah, it is Wednesday. Guy's event is at Valencia Wine Company and that one he has, it's a complimentary tasting. So you can go in there and you can taste Bordeaux. If you've had Bordeaux or not had Bordeaux, it's a good chance to try that. But if you have had it, uh, this is a chance to try the 2009 um, barrel tasting. They're not going to be bringing a barrel in from France or, or a little wine thief from France, but the gentleman from Tricard will be there and he will be letting you sample uh, the new vintage. And that sounds pretty cool on the same night. And Guy's number at Valencia Wine Company is 661-254-9300. Um, I did get an email, a couple of emails that I need to give you. One is from Steve Lemley at Pacella that... No, they got blasted again out of that spot in downtown New Holland. I don't want to go into like, you know, who's getting evicted or, or what the issue is there, but now it's like months for that location. But he says that the downtown, downtown New Hall Redevelopment Committee is so committed to Pachella opening down there that they're still going to have uh, the tasting room in downtown New Hall on Main Street soon. I'm just irritated that I don't know when. Um, did you know there are textbooks for... DiMaggio's WSET class that's coming. Um, that's the um, wine certification class. If you plan on going or now want to go to it, either way, once you get your deposit and you can actually get your textbooks in advance, you can start studying, which is what I want to do. You've got to reach him by emailing him, D-I-M-A-G-G-I-O at allcorkedup.com. Uh, that is all of that wine news. I'm so tired of that for today. Um, I'm going to finish you off with, with this. Is that cool? That is a, a picture of Thai rice spider whiskey. And I'm going to read you this the one sentence. This, this, one sentence. I haven't drank anything today. This Thai rice whiskey contains a large non-venomous spider and is apparently an acquired taste. The story is that it is used in Southeast Asia as an aphrodisiac. So I'm guessing you have to eat the spider. Or at least face the spider. Um, it's also claimed to have medical uses such as the treatment of back and muscle pain, which maybe back and muscle pain keeps you from performing without an aphrodisiac, I don't know. But that hasn't been proven yet, it says here. Spider whiskey is extremely rare. I mean, look how big that is. That's like, like you know, the worm they put in tequila is nothing compared to that sucker. There it is that way. That's on my blog, too. So anyway, that's the end of this week. Uh, EveWine101.blogspot.com, SCV Elite. Dot com, uh, westfrenchbeacon.com those are the places you can find me find me on Facebook, find me on Twitter I'm all over the place and I'm going to leave you with a bug as I say goodbye for the week